The modern ocean is a scary place filled with barracuda, sharks, super squids, and possibly others. However, no matter what we find in the depths these days, none of them seem to come close to the giant terrors that roamed the seas and Earth's past. Giant sea lizard, monster sharks, and even hyper-carnivorous whales. For most of these things, humans would barely qualify as a snack. In the video today, 10 of the scariest prehistoric sea monsters to ever call the ocean home. Number 10. Megalodon Megalodon is probably the best known creature in this video. It's hard to keep the idea of a shark the size of a school bus out of popular culture. Plus, science-minded entertainment sources like the Discovery Channel love creatures that could pass for a movie monster. Despite the popular idea that Megalodon coexisted with dinosaurs, they lived from 25 to 1.5 million years ago, meaning that at best they missed the last dinosaur by 40 million years. On the other hand, this meant that they might have still been around for the first humans, which is a little bit terrifying. Megalodons swam the warm oceans that were around until the last ice age in the Pleistocene, which may have robbed them of their breeding grounds and food. Sometimes it seems that nature just has our back. Number 9. Liopleurodon If Jurassic Park had an aquarium scene and actually featured more animals from the Jurassic period, Liopleurodon would probably have been in it. Although the actual length of these beasts is contested, some scientists have claimed lengths in excess of 50 feet, most agree that it was around 20 feet in length, with a full fifth of that being its pointy-toothed head. When the mouth of the smaller estimate is still plenty large enough to eat you whole, I think that is perfectly huge enough. Scientists have tested the paddle design of these creatures on small swimming robots and found that although they would not have been incredibly fast, they were very agile. They also would have been able to make short, fast burst attacks like crocodiles, which in no way makes them any less intimidating. Number 8. Basilosaurus Despite the name and appearance, this is not a reptile, but actually a whale, and not even the most fearsome on this list. Basilosaurs were predatory ancestors of modern whales and could be 50 to 85 feet long. It is described as the closest whale has ever come to being a snake because of how long and sinuous it was. Imagine swimming in the ocean with an 80-foot-long alligator snake whale. Now imagine being afraid to ever take a bath again. Physical evidence suggests that Basilosaurus did not have the cognitive capacity of modern whales, nor the ability to echolocate, and could only navigate in two dimensions, so no deep diving or breaching. So at least this monster whale was dumber than a bag of prehistoric hammers and could not chase you if you dove or scrambled out on dry land probably forever. Number 7. Yakalopterus renanii Nothing about the words sea scorpion are comforting to begin with, so this should not come off as too awful. This was one of the two largest arthropods to have ever lived, reaching a length of over 8 feet of armored, clawed horror. Most of us freak out at the thought of inch-long ants and foot-wide spiders, so it's easy to imagine screaming like a little girl if you ever stumbled across one of these. On the plus side, sea scorpions have been extinct since before the dinosaurs, having been wiped out in the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which killed 90% of all life on Earth and are only survived to some degree by horseshoe crabs, which are even less formidable than regular crabs. There is no evidence that any sea scorpions were actually venomous, but the structure of their tail is similar to that of a modern scorpion, so it might well have been. Number 6. Mausaurus Mausaurus was named after the Maori god Maui who pulled the islands of New Zealand up from the sea floor with a fishhook, so already you know this thing is going to be enormous. The neck of the Mausaurus measured up to 49 feet long, the longest proportionate and really actual neck of any living thing aside from some sauropod dinosaurs. The overall length was about 66 feet, and that ridiculously long neck had plenty of vertebrae, implying that it was flexible. Imagine a snake stung through a sea turtle with no shell, and you have an approximate idea of what this thing looked like. It lived back in the Cretaceous era, meaning that creatures that jumped in the water to avoid velociraptors had to contend with these things. The jury is out on which is worse. As far as science can tell, Mausaurus was limited to the New Zealand area, showing that the area that would one day become Australia and its neighbors was always a land of terror. Number 5. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus was a 30-foot-long carnivorous tank. It was outlasted by sharks, but I'm sure that's small consolation for the variety of creatures that this beast 
least eight. Instead of teeth, it had bony ridges like a turtle. It has been calculated that they had a bite force of 8,000 pounds per square inch, putting it on par with crocodiles and T. rex in terms of being one of history's strongest biters. They also believe, based on the evidence in the skull regarding its musculature, that it could have opened its mouth in 1 50th of a second, meaning that it absolutely vacuumed food into a guillotine of a mouth. The plates that made up the teeth changed as the fish aged from a solid, rigid jaw to segments that allowed it to hold prey easier and made it more effective in biting through the bony plate armor of other armored fish. In the arms race that was the prehistoric ocean, this creature was a predatory super tank. Number 4. Chronosaurus Chronosaurus is another short-necked pleosaur, like Leoplorodon that we already mentioned, and like Leoplorodon, its overall length has been contested. It was a mere 30 feet long, and the longest teeth in its massive mouth were up to 11 inches long. This is why it was named after Kronos, the king of the old Greek titans. Can you guess where it lived? Well, if you guessed Australia, then you've been paying attention to life and are absolutely correct. The head was up to nine feet long. They could eat an entire modern man whole and still have room left over for half of another. It has also been suggested that since their flippers are so similar in design to those of modern sea turtles, that they may have crawled out onto land to lay eggs. You can be sure no one was digging up those things' nests to get at those eggs. Number 3. Helicoprion These sharks grew to be about 15 feet long and had a lower jaw that was made of a tooth whirl. It looks like a cross between a circular saw and a shark, and when you mix apex predators with power tools, the world quakes in fear. Helicoprion's teeth were serrated, implying that they were definitely carnivores, but there is some debate as to whether their teeth were in the front of the mouth or if they were further back, which would suggest a softer diet like jellyfish. However it was arranged, it clearly worked. Helicoprion survived the Permian-Triassic extinction, which means they may have been smart enough to build bomb shelters, or maybe they just lived really deep in the sea. One of the two. Number 2. Liviatan Melvillae Remember me mentioning hyperconivorous whales? Well, here it is. Imagine a cross between an orca and a sperm whale. Liviatan melvillae was a whale that ate other whales. It had the largest teeth of any animal that used their teeth to eat, topping out at 1.18 feet. They lived in the same oceans and ate the same food as the megalodon, so this whale actually had to compete with the largest predatory shark ever. Not to mention their head was 10 feet long and featured the same echolocating equipment as modern toothed whales, making them much more effective in murky water. In case it was not obvious, this beast was named after the Leviathan, a giant sea monster from the Bible, and Herman Melville, who wrote Moby Dick. If the great white whale had been one of these, Moby Dick would have been a whole lot more trouble. Number 1. Giant Stingray What grew 17 feet across had a 10-inch poison spike in its tail and was strong enough to drag a boat filled with people down into the ocean. In this case, a prehistoric superfish that is still lurking around in fresh and brackish waters from the Mekong River to northern Australia. Stingrays have been around since a few million years after the dinosaurs died out and have proven to be a successful design, much like the sharks they descended from. The giant stingrays use that tried and true ancient design, but have somehow managed to survive ice ages and even the catastrophic Toba event. They were featured on Animal Planet's River Monsters, and despite the host's tendency to over-exaggerate damn near everything, these creatures are incredibly dangerous to fool around with, even if you don't know you're fooling around with one. They are notorious for putting their neurotoxin-covered spike completely through limbs. I guess on the plus side, if there is one, at least these prehistoric sea monsters won't try to eat you. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out another channel I do called Geographics. It's sort of a geography based channel if you couldn't guess from the title. That is linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.